Hello everyone, my name is the Amber Knight, or Amber for short. Welcome to back to the channel, and welcome to a game called Nerd. I know it's been a while since I last recorded a video. It's been like something like four weeks, but I was just taking a little break off YouTube for a bit, and um, yeah, I'm back. Um, since I've been away, I've um, gotten a PC, so it's going to be easier to record. Um, PC games, so we'll have more horror games to come. But yeah, let's just get straight into the video. Yes. I have no idea what this game's about because I bought it ages ago. Also, don't mind the background, sorry about that. Just been moving stuff around. We have to find that cabin first, up that hill, and get some sleep. If we're lucky, we can charge our walkie-talkies. Tomorrow, I want to get some recording of the area before anything else. Joe, look at this fog. It looks... Amazing, isn't it? The network would love this footage. Let's find our shelter first. We'll worry about recording later on. Let me check my map again. We have to find our cabin first to get some rest. Um, I don't know if there's anything behind my camera. But what is with us in a Silent Hill ass place? Okay, I guess this is just go straight to the to the cabin. God, you are. Okay, so yeah, you're like proper right behind me at all times. Train spot. Okay. Yeah, I apologize for not, like, recording in a while. I've just, like I said, I had to take a break. Also, I got, um, a little focus. I don't think it will, but, um, new hand time. Which still This must needs... be this old town mayor's house. Okay. Um, I've still got to get it fixed up, but, yeah. The sand really reminds me of um, Silent Hill. Um, so I guess we're here. And we're here. This is our cabin, dear. You're panting. I told you, you have to exercise more often. I do not like you. I don't like how creepy that is either. Oh, finally, we can get some rest. Okie dokie. I'm curious about this toy maker's house as well. Indeed, I am too. That's a whole different layer of mystery within this story. We'll investigate all about it. Shoo. So I'll take it where I like did investigate. You, did you hear that? What was that? Ah! 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 No! Nora! Ah! Ah! Nora! No! What was that? Ah! Turn out turn acting. Joe, do you hear me? Joe, Joe. Uh, 
Nora? Where are you? Uh, wh what happened? My head... Uh, my head hurts so bad. My head hurts too. I think somebody... Something attacked us while we were asleep. They kidnapped me. Where are you? I'm still in the cabin. I just woke up. My head is spinning. Where are you? I think I'm in the dark room. I hear nothing. Oh, my Find you. Yeah, sure. I should I start just... by checking the mansion first, and then maybe the train station. I feel safer and warmer when I'm around fires and light sources. Good rule of paranormal investigation: evil spirits can't hurt you if you're around fire and lights. I hope. And who says that the evil spirits, bro? I just thought by checking, yeah, so it's just the same I should check my search. journal. Why the mansion first? Oh well. Guess I'll make my way over to there now. Um, for where I've been though, um, <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ! Fire! Fire! Who? <laughs> What's not expected, Matt? God damn! Bathroom cleaner. I hope there's just one of them. But yeah, for where I've been, I've been playing a lot of um. Well, I've been playing a range of different games like Dragon's Dogma 2, um, Stellar Blade. Uh, <laughs> Okay, so it's one of them games. It's one of the ones where, like, if you get stuck on someone. I should start by checking the mansion first, and then maybe the train station. I feel safer and warmer when I'm around fires and light sources. If Good rule of paranormal on. investigation. Evil spirits can't hurt you if you're around fire and lights. I hope. If you get stuck on them, that's it. It's like, it's basically, basically it's like caretaker. I should check my journal. Sorry, I was just trying to focus on the noise there, but um, as I was saying, I've been playing also the Bioshock collection as a classic little nostalgia trip. Since I haven't played it in ages, and um, I'm currently on Burial at Sea at the minute. 
which I'll have a finished on infinite. Here we're here. God. But I promise I will be back to recording again. Yeah, that sounds very close. I mean, that's just, that's definitely outside and all that, but I hope they kind of just like run, run inside or. That's all I found off. Alright, that's just. Don't tell me they can get you through the doors and walls. Very ominous looking sheet. Looks like a cow skull. I was going to say Brahman skull because I've also been playing that again. That's what this title actually is, is Deathclaw. It's one of my like old favourite games. Actually the first game I actually ever got probably into was Fallout. Yeah, Fallout was my first ever game. What? I don't think I want to open that door. But yeah, as I say, Bioshock, I mean, sorry, Fallout was my first ever game I really got into. Started with Fallout 3, then I went to New Vegas, and then 4. And I've actually recently platinumed 4, so that, that took up a lot of my time. Hmm. Maybe I can cut through these planks. An axe would be handy, if I can find one. More planks, bro. I did have to look it up, because, like, finding the key was just really annoying. Um... Turns out, you've got to go to the farmer's cottage to pick up some bolt cutters. Oh no. So the bolt cutters should be around here. Oh, yeah. Now I can break those chains. Now I can break those chains. And as he said, I can go back to the woodcutter's cottage, pick up an axe, and I'm guessing take it back to the mansion. It's just... Now I can cut through those planks at the mansion. 
Oh, I can cut through those planks in the mansion. Also, I don't... Oh, these planks. Oh god, blood. This should be the key to the toy maker's house. Surely. You know, like when you said, I should stop by checking the mansion first, right? You should have said, I should check the woodmaker's house, well, the farmer's cottage first, and then, you know, you can bounce between the areas. Yeah, that's right. Piss off. How does he even know that it's for the toy maker's house, though? This should be the key to the toy maker's house. I'm, I, I know that that's the toy maker's house because I've been here before. That's manual. Play it, maybe? <laughs> the Creeping Bride. I didn't even say anything. Why am I allowed to pick up the doll's heads? Are they foxes? Are they cows? The kid on the right is definitely a cow. The two kids on the left, though, I do not know what they are. God, I hate it when that's so weird with, like, turn and stuff. Oh, right, so... It's just a bunch of kids. Where my wife is, or girlfriend, dear. Oh boy. Oh yeah, that's that's giving me proper caretaker vibes. Like this place just screams caretaker. KG. Is it say Pog? Peg KG. Peg. I mean, I'll look up if, like, if it's made by the same people, and I'll put it up at the. Oh, right, so turn the power off. That makes sense. Then that probably means the monsters can walk about. I don't know if I should go out at the very bottom before I check this room. What was that? I have to cut off the electricity if I want to touch those doors. What doors? Oh, 
follow you. No toys. No toys. I'm for it. No toys. No toys. Oh, so you're gonna chase me. How fun. So that just has to be like, that's a toy. That's a locked door. Okay, I'm gone. Yeah, sorry, I got backtracked, like. I forgot what I was talking about. Um, yeah, if, if it's made by the same developer as, as Caretaker, I'll put it up right now if it is. Because that would explain a lot. I'm pretty sure that just takes me back up. So there's something I probably need from in here. Maybe it's like flip both switches and then it opens the red door. God, I can't imagine if that little shit comes down here, what I'm gonna do. Don't remember if I can get back out here. What's the point of turning it on then? What are you doing here, you little shit? And I think the reason to turn them switches on is to stop that damn toy maker coming down. No toys, no toys, I'm bored. Is that what they're saying? Ooh, I'm taking a risk. Excellent, of course. Whatever that is, I hate it. Also, what are you? Should I go find out what it is? Cause like they creak after. That's a lot of like thick wall. Okay, so it should be as simple as find the piano in this world. Then maybe go find the guy with the... 
that was upstairs. Could be like running around for ages, so yeah, there's a key right here. I don't know. Oh, thank fuck. I think I just said thank duck. No, 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 Yeah, I would never have found that key. I apologize for looking at most of this stuff, but. When you don't know what to do, it's like, it's very hard not to. I think I have to take a photo of her ghost in the present time by using that old camera from the past. What? Like take a picture of her or So what am I doing? Oh. Hello. It's your time. Help me kill my husband. There is this chest. He hides a rifle in it. Under the stairs. Here's the key for it. Take the rifle from the present and give it to me in my past. Okay. I have to find that old rifle that she was talking about. Yeah, I know where it is. Now that I have that old rifle, I have to give it back to her. I do not get this game. How do I even get back to the past again? Oh, here. Yeah. So that's what that was, that, that was that weird, like, glow. Oh shit. I honestly do not want to die now, because like, I would lose so much progress. She's gone too, but I'm not gonna stick around to find out.
What? Uh, I don't get this game at all. Joe? Joe? I think I know now. Nora? What's happening? Nora? Where are you? I think this... this old lady kidnapped me. My soul. She says she'll set me free only if you burn that town's mayor's house. She said there are some gas and boxes of matches in our cabin. She says it has to be done exactly that way. The exact amount of gas she put there and those matches. You have to use them. That doesn't make any sense. Do what she says. Do what I say. Take my revenge and set me free, and I'll set you free. Free from this unwanted child. Free from this toy maker. Free from this cursed forest. I don't know what happened to Nora or where she is now. The only clue I have now is that I have to burn that house down. I have to go back to that cabin and let's see if the gas and matches are there. Oh my... I should check my journal. Bro, you know you just said... Already. Why is in here, by the way? Nothing. Okay. I'm not gonna lie, the reason I was smiling is because I, I don't understand this game. It's so weird, it's like... We came to a forest for a trip. But... That trip turned out... Now we ended up in a cursed forest, she got kidnapped by a ghost. I should check my journal. Yeah, I'll do that instead of... Reading that. Looks like some trespassers stole a cabin key. I have to go to this campsite to find out about it. Hey Matt, I'm at the campsite. This cabin's key is with me. I think the owners were up to some paranormal shit. We have to keep this secret. I had some other footage. Come find me at the camp. This is going to be huge. Right. So we're paranormal. Wait, that's, that's what we are. We're paranormal investigators. Who came to this forest to get some paranormal activity, I guess. An old town. My wife got kidnapped. Okay, I guarantee he's just as fast as my wife at the start of the game, so I'm not gonna stop running. But I wanna keep talking, try to anyway. Um That was very hot. I keep talking when all you can hear is freaking looming footsteps. A paranormal investigator who came to this forest to find some evidence on whatever I guess this town was about. We got beat up some by someone or something. The guy's dead. I should check my journal. Turn my head back up, I'm being curious if there really is some gas saying no, whatever the voice told me. Okay. So yeah, like, we came to this town to find some paranormal activity. Got kidnapped. Um, the ghost of the person who used to live here obviously had a bad husband or something. And I guess she died knowing that she'd ever got her revenge. I can't even see I'm going now because my camera's all oh, there it is. She wanted revenge, but she could never get it. So she took me host my wife hostage and got me to give her a gun to shoot her and now she wants me to burn the remnants of that place. And a camper for some reason took my keys.
Gasoline. I think the time has come to burn that town's mayor's house. And now my character has become a villain. I think the time has come to burn the town mayor's house. Oh fuck. Fuck. I don't know about a toy maker though. I watch my buying a toy. What child? After I lay low for a while, I'll have to figure out what really happened. For the time being, I'm just too tired, and I must admit, scared to keep on. Maybe later. What? So I don't even get a I don't even get a good ending. I just I do the I do the ghost spitting. Somehow the house sparks up like that. That's not how fire works, by the way. It doesn't turn into friggin' explosions. Of course, there's propane tanks inside the house, but I doubt it. Um. Yeah, I don't know what to say about that game. Like. That was weird. I mean, I think I only paid like two pound for it, which is not too bad, but it was on deal for dropped from seven pounds, so I'm glad I didn't pay seven quid for that. Not bad, but not good either. I didn't really explain like what the toy maker was, what that person chasing me was, what the spirits were. It was more just a an adventure about doing a ghost spitting, and I don't even know what happened to my wife. So she could be dead. She could not be. Who knows? Um, but that was nerved. Um, I hope you enjoyed what you've seen today, and um, yeah, if you want to see other videos I've done, I'll leave links in the description, as always, and I'm glad to be back, I've missed doing this, I mean, this wasn't the best game to start off with coming back, but short and sweet, just to get me back into editing and trying to do um, commentary again. So, yeah, um, I'll see you in the next one. But, this is goodbye for now. Goodbye!